Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome uh, to this uh, CPSC 33000 LT1 database systems. Uh, this is for the summer of 23, and it is asynchronous course. Course is from July 5 to August 26. My name is Sung Kim, and I'll be your instructor. And this video uh, presentation is the overview of week number one. And what I'm about to share with you is already posted on Blackboard. And if you have any questions uh, afterwards, uh, feel free to email me uh, or set up a Zoom appointment, which I will share with you uh, shortly. So let me move this out of the way. So as I mentioned, uh, the material that I'm going to cover is basically right here, uh, week number one lesson. Uh, PowerPoint under the instructional material and if you click on that this is what you see okay so I'm going to go over this uh, uh, briefly with you um, in this a uh, PowerPoint I'm going to talk a little bit about myself the bullet board uh, layout and the syllabus and the assignments a little bit about myself I um, am a faculty in the computer science department I used to work at Lewis University as in IT department in enterprise systems, uh, managing the various uh, enterprise systems for the university, including uh, the Blackboard and the, the portal. I also worked in IT at the Washington Lee University. Uh, my <coughs> uh, background is in computer science, electrical engineering, uh, classical literature, and I also have an MBA. Uh, in terms of the Blackboard layout, uh, let me bring that up for you. So this is a uh, Blackboard for the database systems, and uh, you are probably familiar with the layouts. Um, and so here is the list of weeks. Uh, it has uh, eight weeks here, and it is indicated by the start of that week and when the assignments are due uh, for that uh, week. Uh, you will notice that there are two same due dates for these first two weeks. I'm giving you a little bit of time here, but uh, we'll be back on the sync of uh, items due at the end of the week. Um, my layout of the Blackboard is the objectives and all of the inst instruction material here, and then all the assignments for that week. Um, if you click on the instructor here, uh, you will see uh, some information about uh, how to get in touch with me. Uh, since this is a summer, I'm not at, on campus, um, so the best way for you to reach me is by email. Uh, you can also um, cl click on this link here to schedule a uh, Zoom session uh, appointments. And as you can see, if you click on one of the dates, let's say here, you get to pick and choose one, uh, whichever works out for you, okay? Right above the, the weekly tab, here's a resources tab. Um, here is a, uh, a uh, list of items that may be useful for you. Uh, you may not need them, but I put everything on here just in case. I'm uh, here's also the syllabus here, so I'm going to take a, a few minutes to go over, uh, highlight some of these things with you. So if you click on them, uh, this is what you'll see. So here's the uh, basic uh, information about the course, and in terms of the, uh, this should be changed. Let me actually no, uh, I did uh, specify that this uh, is required. It's a Zybook which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this here, this is optional, and I'll mention it for you uh, when it is uh, useful. Uh, but I do want to highlight the hardware uh, requirements. Uh, you need an 8 gig and, and uh, a RAM, uh, at least 100 gigabyte of storage space, and uh, preferably uh, more than six cores. For uh, Mac OS users, um, this uh, you may want to invest on the parallels uh, to access the windows uh, if you need to. And here's a, a draft of the outline of what we're going to cover and what the assignments are. That's pretty much it. Let me go back to the, uh, the PowerPoint here. I did mention to you about the book. Uh, the, here are two images of the ref, uh, uh, resource books that may be useful for you. Uh, use it if you like. If, but they're not required. Uh, just mentioning about the, um, uh, the hardware and the programs, um, the, we're going to be using Microsoft SQL Server, um, and it works best on Windows OS. 
uh, and if you're a Mac OS user, as I mentioned before, you can uh, install it directly on your computer, but and if you prefer, you can use a parallels. Of course, you can use a virtual machine like VirtualBox or VMware, but if you do that, make sure you have enough resources to uh, run it uh, uh, satisfactorily, uh, as I mentioned here. If you have any special accommodations, please let me know as soon as possible and uh, uh, so that I can accommodate for you. Uh, just just one more thing about the macOS uh, using Apparels. Uh, there is a free download trial that you may be able to uh, use um, and maybe get, even get a student discount. So look into that. There are three assignments uh, for this week, uh, discussion board with an assignment, Zybook. So let me take you over to the Blackboard and talk to you about it. So here's a Blackboard, uh, uh, week number one. Uh, the, the first assignment is the, well, you can do it in any order, uh, but here's a written assignment. It, uh, for every assignment, it tells you uh, clearly when it is due and how, much, how many points they're associated with, uh, but uh, research online and, and be able to answer those three questions and whenever you're using a submission, make sure you use Microsoft Word uh, to do that. Do a introduction uh, in the discussion board about answering those questions uh, and do the Zybook assignment. Uh, when you click on it, uh, you need to subscribe and pay for it, and then it'll land you into uh, Zybook chapter one. So let me show you how they look like uh, on my side. So this is how it looks uh, when you uh, when I go directly to Zybook. I'm going here directly because I'm not doing the assignments, but you should, uh, you are able to come here directly and do it, but you don't want to do that because your uh, scores will not be automatically synced, okay? I'm just showing you from my side how I do it. Uh, so I sign in. And then I click on the database. I know this uh, is different as it should be CPSC uh, rather than a BSAN, but I'll do that. And here is what you uh, see. But let me show you how you would come along, okay? So back here, if you click on them, uh, I'm not going to get to the registration uh, uh, page because I it's already taken care of. It should land you directly where the assignment uh, starts, okay? And then you just go through them. Uh, you need to watch all the videos, be, uh, answer all the questions and uh, all of the uh, participation activities are what's required. You can try them as many times as you like. You can uh, you know, finish uh, partially and come back and do it again. Uh, and so uh, you know, that, that's up to you. Uh, but you, you try to stay uh, you know, finished before the uh, Friday 7.14. If you have any technical difficulties, make sure you follow up with them, or you can also email me. But basically all I'm gonna do is uh, forward it to them because they do all the supports. Um, so let me bring this back up here. So that's pretty much it. Um, I went over what's, what you need to know and do for this week. Uh, but let me show you one more thing when you get to the instructor here. And I think I already showed you how to do this. So if you have any questions, uh, let me hold it. And if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to email me and uh, set up a Zoom appointment with me. One more thing that I do want to show you is the how the SQL Server look like. So here is the uh, SQL Server that I uh, started. So I can just, you know, uh, I'll go over this one more in detail later on, but I just want to show you how it may look like. Okay, so here, here it goes, kind of like this, okay. But anyway, uh, the other thing is I also have the VirtualBox uh, set up, and this is how it looks like. You don't have to use a VirtualBox. You can use a VMware or whatever you want. But you can install, uh, and, and especially if you're a macOS user, uh, you may want to do this, but that you know that's up to you. All right, so that sort of wrap, wraps it up. Uh, uh, looking forward to working with you um, this summer, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Take care. Bye for now.